Hey guys, it's the AZ Garden Gal. Got some quail eggs and an incubator. Not sure what to do next? Stay tuned and I'll tell you everything you need to know. This is your Genoel egg incubator. Underneath the top, you'll find the thermometer and the wheel that turns the eggs, an adjustable egg tray, an incubating tray that has grooves where your egg tray will sit, and a hatching tray with little feet. Thoroughly clean and disinfect all pieces and then reassemble. Before you incubate your eggs, make sure they're at room temperature and give them a float test to make sure they haven't lost too much moisture. You want the egg to lay flat on its side at the bottom. If it floats to the top, don't incubate it. If it sinks to the bottom but tips up like this one, let it sit in the water for a few minutes to try and rehydrate. Load your eggs into the egg tray. Adjust the partitions so there's just a small amount of space in between the egg and each partition. Too tight and the eggs will get stuck and won't roll. Too loose and the eggs won't roll enough. Test your egg tray to make sure all of your eggs are rolling properly. Pour in about 100 milliliters of water. You'll need to add water about every two days during incubation to make sure it doesn't run dry. When you put the cover on, you'll need to make sure that the arm of the rotator fits into the slot of the egg tray. Plug in the unit, hit the set button, and then the plus button until the temperature shows 38 degrees Celsius. The incubation period lasts 15 days for quail, and you only need to make sure you're checking and maintaining the water level during this time. At the end of the incubation period, remove the lid and the egg tray. Set your eggs to the side and remove the incubation tray. Add about a cup of water to increase the humidity. Put your eggs back into the incubator and place them on the lower hatching tray. Put the lid back on, hit the set button, and lower the temperature to 37 degrees Celsius. The hatching period lasts about two days. Don't open the lid during this time. Move them to a brooder when all of the hatching is complete and everybody is dry and fluffy.